So back at ringside then here in Las Vegas, the master of ceremonies, Mike, ready to rumble. Buffer is introducing quite a few celebrities around the ring, but they're all, all uh, a little bit too shy to get in the ring, it would uh, seem. They're getting uh, cheers and jeers according to their popularity here. Show people. Uh, Bo Derrick, who's a great five fan, here with her husband. She's always around the ringsides here. And Tommy Hearns now loosening up at uh, the back of this convention centre, this all carpeted arena that we have here. It's, uh, it really is the, the perfect hall for boxing, the nine and a half thousand people. And the official is Richard Steele in the ring there in the slightly tinted green shirt. He's works in a local casino here. He's one of the best referees in the business. And Mr. T, that was a man who used to be the manager minder of Leon Spinks, and here comes Iram Barkley. Nicknamed The Blade, and a real hard and fearsome looking character as well, isn't he? A little bit angry at losing to Sambu Kalanbe in Italy, the WBA 12 rounds last October. And he says that uh, something went wrong on the scales and he really is blaming the Italians out there for that. He said, I never weighed 10 stone 13 or 153 in my life. This is the middleweight limit then, 11 stone six. So inevitably Baron Hilton gets introduced. This fellow's uh, on deaf ears, I would have thought, Iron Barkley. There's, there's been a, quite a lot of what they call here smart money for him. Here's T Tommy Hearns, but Tommy Hearns has come in a 7-2 to two favorite. He was he was almost 5-1 to one in the early betting, but there's, there's been some smart money for him in the last hour or two, the challenger. And, of course, betting uh, is all legal here and posted on the boards outside. But the odds, I, I got the impression, were very much in the bookmaker's favor here. So the, the Rocky theme, the Eye of the Tiger. Barkley came into the gospel sung by the Georgia Mass Choir. Have we, have, uh, we've got the victory. A little bit premature. And the man there used to work a bit with Muhammad Ali, Lloyd Wells. Uh, he just concentrates straight on there. He's got a touch of the, the Mike Tyson mentality there, ignoring all around him, Tommy Hurt. Different style of boxer entirely, of course, to the heavyweight champion. But a record breaker, four championships of the world at different weights. In fact, they haven't always been uh, unified, and there's, there's always been others in uh, other commissions. But it's a great performance, nonetheless, by Tommy Holmes. Defeated Dennis Andrews, who's now joined his stable for the light heavyweight championship, but he's come down from 12-7 to 11-6 for this one, which he won against Juan Roldan in Las Vegas, but looked a little bit wobbly doing that. And there's the, the statistics. Hearns has been around so long, he's, he's 29 really seems quite young for him. He, he boxed 1976 at Wembley as an amateur against George Gilbody. Only a split verdict too. So there's the rundown of the rules. And that standing eight count means that uh, as they do in amateur boxing, that you can get a account without going down. That doesn't happen here. Ladies Here's and the introductions. This bout is sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission and the World Boxing Council. The judges for this contest are Curry Goff from Nevada, Oscar Lynn from Mexico, and the referee is And now, ladies and gentlemen, Introducing the challenger, Iron. 